Uh, so uh, at Zoho, we strive to develop world-class applications. Uh, we have been in the cloud for 10 years and remain committed to perfecting our, our craft. Uh, our flagship cloud product and the reason that you all are here uh, is Zoho CRM. Uh, Zoho CRM increases your pro productivity of your sales force uh, through collaboration. Um, and with increased uh, collaboration, you get closer to your customers, uh, you increase your revenue, and many of you are already realizing the benefits of the Zoho CRM, but here at Zoho, we're not ever satisfied with the status quo. We look to continually uh, improve the features and the offerings that we have uh, for our CRM customers. And really what we're doing is trying to help you take your business to the next level through application integration. We talk a lot about integration. Uh, I've heard it in a couple sessions today and looking at the agenda tomorrow, uh, we're gonna see a, a tremendous amount of talk about how we can integrate uh, Zoho CRM with other features and other capabilities in Zoho products. Uh, one of the integrations that I've worked with a lot and that Raj Sablock, our president, is going to be talking about uh, is between Zoho Invoice and Books uh, and CRM. And I'm just going to touch briefly on it uh, as an example. Uh, with the Zoho Invoice and Books, your sales team can generate invoices, submit them to customers. When customers action those invoices, that data feeds back into the accounting software, uh, in this case, uh, Zoho Books, and the, the status uh, of those invoices is transmitted to your sales force. It allows people to work collaboratively uh, and keep up to date on the current information and the status of the customers. Sales guys get information on the credit worthiness of the customer and the accounting team is up to date on sales orders in the pipeline uh, in, and changes can be made to inventory. Um, our competitors do this too, but oftentimes they just bolt on limited functionality in the terms of you know, another peripheral capability to these products. And even if they're not developing it in-house, they'll have a third party that they will integrate with uh, and, and offer the, the features and functionality. But one of the problems is these companies, you know, they'll have a, a core focus, a core capability. Their engineers are dedicated to, in this case, maybe CRM. They're not experts in these other fields. And the two products or those capabilities, they tend not to evolve at the same rate. Uh, so you'll have you know, a good CRM product, but the invoicing product is, is lacking capabilities. Or even if they use a third party, you know, these are two different companies that are trying to work together. And you know, company A wants to take their product in a certain direction and add certain feature sets, uh, but the, the guy who's integrated into their CRM wants to move in a different direction, and you get disparate results, and oftentimes lack of customer satisfaction. Well, at, at Zoho, um, I like to say, and I don't know if we've said it to you, but you know, we have an app for that. We have a very, a very broad product line. And uh, oftentimes, how we come up with new product ideas is seeing you know, key business needs. And uh, in the case of Zoho Books and Zoho Invoice, we wanted to, to move into that direction and we create a product line. We have a dedicated team and they add world-class features and functionality to these products. Uh, that's how a lot of Zoho apps are born, uh, and uh, this, the integration is, is very key, and we solve a lot of business problems. So in addition to bolting on invoicing and accounting capabilities to CRMs, what other problems can we solve? Well, as, as companies move to the cloud, they start to use a lot of different applications. And you know, these applications generate a tremendous amount of data. But this data oftentimes, at least I have seen, goes into silos. And applications aren't talking to one another. And you can't really take that information and turn it into action, actionable business intelligence. Additionally, a person bought this, so debit inventory here, and that gets reflected somewhere else. But reporting is a whole other issue. Uh, these applications that these companies are using, they all have their own reporting capabilities. Your marketing app is going to report on marketing data. 
the CRM app that you might be using, if it's not ours, is reporting uh, just on what's in that product portfolio. The same for an HR database. Uh, so with Zoho Reports integrating with uh, our CRM, you get seamless integration of all of these different data sets into one product. Uh, very powerful, easy to use tool. Doesn't require IT to help you set it up. Uh, I'm not a particularly technical person, as you could tell by, and you know, it's easy for me to go in and within five minutes generate uh, reports on unstructured data and turn it into actionable information. So you notice I was focusing on business intelligence, not sales intelligence, because um, it's not just reports coming out of the sales tool. You're taking data from all of the different sources all across your business and combining it into one data set that's available in one app. And what does this allow you to do? It gives you insights into customer behavior, predictability, you know, where you're, what are your customers doing, what's important to them, uh, and what's been important to them over time. And with this information, uh, you get better visibility into your business, and you can make more effective decisions, strategic decisions, that will help move your business forward and let you operate more efficiently. So at, at Zoho, we like to integrate a lot, and we say we, you can run your business in the cloud on Zoho. So our apps might as well talk to one another. Zoho Reports integrates with CRM, with projects, with Creator, with Recruit. We also recognize that not everyone uses the Zoho platform, and we have open APIs, as we do with all of our products, people talk about quite a bit, uh, RESTful APIs that will integrate with Salesforce, Google Analytics with Zendesk and hundreds of other applications that, that customers integrate with. So we've got all this data, we've centralized it. You have unstructured data using Zoho reports to give you actionable information, but then what do you do with it? Uh, how do you utilize that data? Uh, in Zoho reports, we've created over a hundred pre-built um, uh, pre-built views, pre-built reports, but we don't claim to know your business as well as you do, so it's very, very easy to customize reports. Don't need any help to do it. Users do it on their own. Uh, and then, in addition to the reports, there's a lot of dashboards that are available. Uh, you want to give executive views, user views, views inside your company, outside your company. Uh, very customizable, very easy to use. And uh, here at Zoho, I think the only thing we enjoy more than integration is collaboration. And you can collaborate uh, with work groups on your dashboards, on your reports. You can email people updates on different schedules. Uh, you can give secure access to user groups. You have uh, different groups working on the same data set and um, you know, doing analytics, making decisions. Um, so, now, I'll turn it off over to Arvind, who's going to give you a, a deeper dive and a closer look uh, into Zoho Reports. Thanks, Norm. I'm going to provide a brief demo of how to set up uh, the advanced analytics for CRM. All right, it's going to be on a slide basis, so we're uh, of creating how, uh, how to create reports and how to share them. So setting up advanced CRM analytics is what uh, we are going to see. So any CRM administrator can set up the advanced analytics uh, add-on. Uh, just go to the setup, uh, click on the apps and add-ons, the Zoho apps, and then scroll down to advanced CRM analytics. And it's, it's a single uh, configure button, so just configure. And what it does is it lists you all the different modules, uh, the, the leads, the contacts, the accounts, uh, all that and the fields associated to the different modules. So you can choose the, some of the uh, modules are by default brought into Zoho reports and uh, the fields you can choose which of them uh, you need to analyze. And uh, you can also schedule when the data is to be uh, synchronized every day. So the data synchronizes automatically once every day and there is also a sync now option. Uh, where if you want to uh, sync the data at any time, you can do that. So click on the Save and Sync Now button. 
and that's it. So your uh, sync is on the way. Uh, the initial sync may take uh, a couple of hours, depending upon the data that you have in CRM, bringing all the data into um, uh, reports. And then once the sync process is over, you get an email saying that uh, the data has been synced. So once you get an email, so you can click on the reports tab, and there at the right top, you find the advanced CRM analytics link. Click on that, and it will open Zoho reports in a new browser tab. So this is the interface that you will uh, see when you uh, click on the CRM analytics link. And as you can see, so it has got a lot of ready-made uh, uh, dashboards and reports. Uh, as Norm mentioned, we have uh, more than 100 useful uh, reports and dashboards. So that's the navigator view and the explorer view. So we can expand. Now I am showing the dashboards folder expanded with all the dashboards uh, inside, the different dashboards. Uh, and then this is uh, one of the tables that I'm opening. This is accounts table, for example. So it's, uh, it contains all the accounts data. Uh, the different fields are here denoted as columns. You can see that it's, it's very similar to a spreadsheet. And at the top, you have the table functions. I can search within the tables. You can share the table, or you can email this, uh, export an email list, this one. So similarly, like tables, there are charts. So this is one of the charts uh, showing how the variance is between the actual one amount versus the estimated amount over the past few quarters. So uh, here, too, at the top, you have the toolbar where you can say, you can even uh, change the chart type from line to, say, bar or whatever. So we offer very different uh, uh, chart types, and you can change them to any, any, any one of uh, those that you prefer. And again, these charts can also be uh, shared and exported as uh, images and stored if you wanted. And uh, you can click on any of those points and see the underlying data as well. For example, I'm, uh, as you can see, for the particular, uh, the present quarter, you can drill down and see what constitutes, what are the deals that constitute to that uh, 16 million un uh, amount. So these are some of the sample reports that uh, we have. Uh, simple, straightforward one, the top five salespersons uh, by revenue and uh, by the win rate. You can even have uh, multiple criteria, like other than the uh, revenue and the win rate, it can even be the average deal size of each of the salespersons or the average number of uh, days that a salesperson takes to close a deal. So those are the ways that we can uh, easily uh, segregate, uh, easily come up with the top uh, performing salespersons. And likewise, we have the top five deals for the quarter, or you can even compare one quarter with the previous quarter. What is the revenue of the present quarter when compared to the previous quarter? Or what is the average deal size? Uh, what are the number of uh, deals won, and what's the win rate been uh, for these past two quarters? And uh, this is a typical sales funnel, uh, where again we have the for different uh, stages how many uh, leads have come in for uh, into each stage, and at the end you have the conversion rate. So uh, five fifty seven leads have come in in, uh, in the last six months. And out of the 235, have got converted to closed one deals. And you can even segregate. Uh, so the, here the user filters sh shown are uh, different. It can be relative uh, time periods. Or it can even, you can segregate by potential owner. That's the salesperson. So we, how, how many deals, uh, how many leads have been assigned to each salesperson? And how many have got converted uh, uh, to closed one? This again is, shows the buckets. Uh, the deal size buckets for the past two quarters, the different uh, deal sizes. And uh, this is also an interesting report, uh, the average uh, stage velocity. So uh, the average time that is spent on uh, uh, each of the uh, stages. So you can see the first two stages are taking a lot of time. The slope is high. And then the slope gradually reduces. So as the management can take some corrective action, seeing this, such a report, see why uh, the, the first two stages are taking so long, and uh, try to uh, 
bring about some changes. Similarly, the average stage duration. So again, uh, you can uh, see that okay, how uh, the average uh, the stage duration for each stage has been. Uh, this is a dashboard. So this, is, this again has got uh, uh, called uh, uh, widgets, and these are nothing but KPI metrics at the top that we list. So this, these dashboards can be uh, projected on uh, large screens, and uh, this will give uh, uh, the the current uh, uh, status, the current sales status, how the sales is going to be, and. Uh, uh, for the present quarter, and how every day it's all dynamic. So it's all this uh, changes as new data comes in from the CRM, and it will give you. It's, it's just a part of a dashboard. That uh, the dashboard can contain as many reports as you as it needs. And uh, so one more chart, pipeline uh, how it has been uh, based on the potentials, uh, the lost potentials, the open potentials, and the one potentials for these months in uh, 2015. So again, I'm going to have the user filter there. If I want to see only for uh, Jasmine Frank, the salesperson, so I can look at that. Um, that's about with the sample reports. Uh, the, we have a mobile uh, app as well on the iPad. So you can, uh, if you have a Salesforce on the field, they can use, uh, they, if you, they want to see the reports on their iPads, um, uh, they can do so. A couple of screenshots from our mobile uh, application showing the advanced CRM analytics reports. And finally, the editions and pricing. Actually, analytics can be uh, configured in all CRM uh, editions. That's about it.